Hi there, Jamie Keat here at Teacher Tech Tips. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is take a look at how you can back up all your data from uh, your Google Drive or YouTube videos or all of your Google applications that you have. Uh, th this is a very simple process and it'd be great for teachers moving on to a different job or even students graduating from school and then they can back up all their stuff that they completed. If you like these types of tips, uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up next week. So where do we go to back up this stuff is where we're going to start. So when you're logged into your account, what you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner here and uh, what you notice it says my account here. So when you click on my account, it brings you to um, kind of a, your account panel and where we find our backup uh, tool is if we click on, we can click on this personal info and privacy here. And then down in the left hand side, we can just go to the very last one where it says control your content. Now at this point right here, you can see it says create an, uh, create archive and this is where we need to go. Uh, there's a little bit of a shortcut you could use too. If you look at, uh, at the top of my URL, uh, you could just put the settings for slash takeout and it will bring it here too. So I'll put a link to that under my description. Uh, so you can just click on that. And if you're logged in, it will bring you right to it. So now what you notice is that you have a very long list of things you can back up here. Uh, so probably drive would be a main one that I'd be thinking about backing up. Uh, so what you can do is you can, if you didn't want to back up everything, you could just hit the select none. And then what you can do is for instance, go to drive. And then if I uh, click on that, it opens up all the different ways I could back up my drive here. So uh, you can see I could have my documents in uh, different formats. If I wanted them in Microsoft Word, I could uh, download them so they would open up Microsoft Word drawings it gives you different options options uh, to pick and same thing with your forms presentations and spreadsheets so um, as I go, I'm just going to scroll down the list I'm just going to click up and select them all just so we can see them a little bit better here but you can do it on each one so even like for uh, your mail you know you could it gives you little options here uh, what I like is the idea of even if you've made a lot of videos uh, you could uh, download them all um, you could select specific data uh, and then it kind of you can get into it a little bit more of um, like all the things that you wanted that that it were connected to YouTube. So you could go through this list and I'm just going to do a, a quick example here. I'm just going to go back to my select none here and then I'm just going to turn on my uh, Google Drive if I can find where that went. Oh, there it is. All right. So I'm just going to leave it. So if I go into uh, I could pick a certain folders. So these are folders inside my Google Drive. So I could just have one folder. I could have them all. And I'm going to hit done. And uh, then I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and then hit next. And at this point, I get the options here, uh, what I want to save it as. I'm just going to leave it as a zip file here and a delivery method. So uh, I could add it to Drive. A link will add it right to my Drive or the, sorry, the zip or else I can, it will send me a download uh, link via email. So I'm just going to leave, leave it as the email one. And then I'm just going to hit Create Archive here. Uh, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop my video and I'm just going to, uh, reappear when I have the email in my account to show you how it works from there. So it only took me about a minute or so to get the email from Google. It wasn't a very large file I had to back up, so I, that would depend on um, how long the email would take too. So when you get your email, it looks like this here, and you have a couple options uh, right away where I could download my archive from here, or I could click on manage my archives. Um, here and then at this point I can download it too and it will show me it shows me the size that this was only 21.3 megabytes so when I download it it is going to be a zip file uh, so this makes it a very easy way to back up all of your uh, information as I said earlier in the video great for graduates moving on or teachers moving to a different job where they can take all their stuff back it up so again if you like these types of tips please subscribe to my channel uh, the next one we're going to be looking at is how to become a uh, pro uh, user in your omnibox so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time